breaking news. One of the teens who pleaded guilty to killing his Spanish teacher learned his fate this afternoon in a courtroom. Willard Miller will spend life in prison, but he does have the chance for parole after 35 years. Nohe McGraver was killed while on a walk in November of 2021 in Fairfield. She was beaten with a baseball bat. She was Willard Miller and Jeremy Goodale's Spanish teacher at Fairfield High School. KCCI's Marcus McIntosh was in the courtroom today in Jefferson County. He shows us what was said inside during that sentencing. After they have listened to the state deliver its argument as to why Miller deserves a mandatory minimum sentence, Judge Sean Showers handed down his decision. The court finds based on the nature and circumstances of this offense, along with the required 25 factors that I get to consider in sentencing a juvenile in the state of Iowa for murder in the first degree, that the defendant, Willard Noble Chayden Miller, should be sentenced to life with the possibility of parole after 35 years. This sentence is permissible under the Iowa law. A 35-year mandatory minimum is not cruel and unusual punishment for the defendant. Judge Showers was swayed by a number of factors in this case, including the brutality of the crime, the time Miller spent planning the murder, following Graber to learn her daily patterns, showing no remorse or taking full responsibility for his part in the crime. He also took into consideration what the loss of Graber means to her family and the community. Miller did take the opportunity to speak when given the chance, apologizing for what he did to the Graber family, his family, and co-defendant Jeremy Goodale's family. The defense argued an expert was needed before a mandatory minimum sentence could be given to a juvenile. In the end, the judge sided with the defense with the life sentence with a mandatory minimum of 35 years served. This is not over for the Graber family because Jeremy Goodale, the co-defendant in this case, he will be sentenced next month. And there's still a lot of sadness around the Graber family because Paul Graber, he was buried yesterday. He succumbed to cancer last week. Live at the Jefferson County Courthouse in Fairfield, Marcus McIntosh, KCCI 8 News, Iowa's News Leader.